Deputy Collins. Thank you, Chairman. Brief, because you know I asked a lot of questions earlier. It's just, you know, like Deputy Pringle said there, you know, there is a little bit of time here to try and resolve this, uh, if there is uh, any hope at all uh, for the future of, of, of a lot of the fishermen out there. And there's talks about transfer ownership, and you're waiting for the sector to come back to you, maybe about that, and that's a possibility. And I, you know, you said if there was an easy solution out there, you would have found it. But to me. Uh, making fish meal out of fish is not an easy solution, or that's no solution at all. That's a disastrous situation that everybody finds themselves in. Um, and and I, I would plead, and I'd hope that we'd have maybe regular meetings here to see how we can uh, find a solution to this issue over the next few months uh, and try and see can um, a plan be put forward. Because it's unfortunate when fishermen ring me today, they're talking about tie-up schemes and decommissioning. They want to get out. Now, is that what the department wants, or is that what... Uh, this, this government want or this country wants. I certainly don't see that because there's massive potential out there in the, in the water, uh, southwest of my own uh, place where I live, but uh, throughout our country. And it's sad that it's, it's, it's almost uh, at an end as such. And, and, and we seem to be con continuously destroying this industry for some reason out there. Who or where or how are the rules? Uh, been driven by, by the Irish, by the Irish government, by the SFPA, by who, by whatever, don't seem to be the same rules that are driven uh, throughout Europe. And we find ourselves in this dire situation as such. And a solution needs to be met like uh, before um, before we face wipeout and maybe serious situations. So look, we'll try from our side here to make sure that uh, every option is is, is, is afforded to it. I sincerely hope the Minister and the Department will do the same, but I'd ask you, the SFP to find a solution and work with the sector to make sure that the solution that suits everybody, that makes sure that it takes everybody's, uh, as I say, box is, is, um, is worked on. And just, I, I presume you're not on the, the decommissioning, but like unfortunate situation, fishermen find themselves asking me the question is, when is the decommissioning starting? Uh, and, and, and it's sad to think that they can't get a straight answer. It's unfortunate that they're looking for decommissioning as a way out, but unfortunately that's what they're facing. And I presume you have no answers to when the decommissioning is starting in this country. So, so Deputy, um, I, I presume that your, your comments are in, in relation to pelagic landings yes. into Killy Beggs, because I'd stress again, the control plan stays in place for all the other landings. So, I mean, the, the ridiculous situation that pertained in Union Hall last summer where fish had to be weighed on the quayside and then brought 500 metres up to a factory up the road won't happen this year because the control plan stays in place. Like in relation to the dire situation, like I, I point out that Killybegs continue to operate through this um, and, uh, and a lot of landings, and I can give you statistics on them if you want to, happened in Killybegs throughout the pelagic season, season this year. Um, in relation to the fish meal issue, you right to point out that that uh, a lot more blue whiting um, has in this year and last year gone for human consumption. In years past, the bulk of blue whiting used in fact go for fish meal. And it's welcome to see that there's value being added to this fish and that it is going for human consumption rather than for fish meal. But I have to point out again, Deputy, that in relation to the landings of blue whiting, 19 out of 20 vessels that land there, they go straight to the factory for weighing. So when you describe it as a dire situation, I think you've got to take that into account, Deputy. 19 out of 20 of them are weighed in the factory. One out of 20 has to be supervised weighed on the pier side. What the sector have chosen to do in relation to blue whiting, since the uh, requirement um, came in and the two options were available to them, is they have diverted all the landings that we have uh, declared um, declared uh, a controlled landing on into fish meal. So they have taken that option rather than using either of the two options uh, for pure side weighing and putting it into human consumption. Like I, I would hope that we can avoid that situation going forward because the more of this fish that goes in for human consumption, obviously the better. Deputy Pringle has, has, has referred to the extra value to the crew and to the fishermen themselves if it goes into um, if it goes into human consumption. I absolutely concur with that. Much better to see it going for human consumption than going for fish meal. Sorry, in relation to decommissioning, it's a question for the Minister. Uh, and, and obviously it's not something that we'd know in the first place or comment on because of the role of the SFPA. Thank you.